This video is designed to give you an overview of the ski slide pad and is not intended to be a substitute for actual training with the product. The video needs to be assessed in line with the manual handling and cross-infection policies in place within your organisation. Please bear in mind that although the video has been filmed within an NHS hospital, the equipment has been designed for use in various types of buildings where the available space is quite often very limited. Any manual handling techniques used within the video are merely suggested methods to move non-ambulant persons in an emergency. It is accepted that there may be other more appropriate alternatives on some occasions and within slightly different environments to those portrayed. The ski slide pad has been safety tested to a maximum weight of 180 kilograms, although the maximum load to be pulled should be advised by your manual handling advisors. It is recommended that a minimum of two people handle a ski slide pad. As a general rule, the maximum weight being pulled should not be more than that of the combined handlers. Each user will have his or her own handling plan, and this should be considered before transferring any user using this equipment. In an emergency, the ski slide pad can be removed from its storage bag and carried to the area where evacuation is required. If possible, secure any doors open in readiness for the escape. If time allows, always work with the bed at a comfortable height. To prepare the user for evacuation, remove their pillows and the top covers and place to one side ready for later use. Wrap them in the bottom bed sheet. This will help to keep the user secure during the transfer onto the ski slide pad and adds a layer of warmth during the evacuation process. Roll them onto their side ensuring they are fully supported. Carefully place the ski slide pad alongside of them with black buckle facing the patient but tucked out of the way. Lay the built-in slide sheet closest to the user over the ski slide pad, followed by the second slide sheet. Carefully feed the top slide sheet underneath the user. Gently roll them back onto the ski slide pad and position them centrally using the slide sheet. Remove the slide sheets from under the user before wrapping the slide sheet over them. Place a pillow under their head and place their feet into the pocket. Secure the user's feet using the seat belt style foot strap. Position the spare pillows across the chest if enough are available. Tighten to cocoon the user on the ski slide pad. The straps need to be tight but comfortable for the user. To prevent tripping, ensure the loose strap ends are tucked in under straps or placed in the foot pocket. Various methods of taking the user off the bed can be used. Please consult your moving and handling department to ascertain the correct method of transfer for your own specific environment. If space allows, the bed can be repositioned and the user taken off the foot end of the bed, ensuring to protect their head throughout. With a person at each end of the ski slide pad, take hold of the end straps and move the user into a position where they're lying at approximately 90 degrees across the bed. The person at the head end keeps the strap short and starts to move backwards, allowing the ski slide pad to touch the floor. The foot end operator allows the straps to move through their hands, controlling the descent of the ski slide pad onto the floor. Once the ski slide pad is on the floor, both operators should pull it from the same end. If doors are to be negotiated, the ski slide pad should be pulled from the head end to avoid doors closing on the user's head. However, it is vital that the user approaches the stairs feet first. With one person at each end of the ski slide pad, the user can be securely moved down the stairs. It's very important that the person at the foot end keeps the ski slide pad as straight as possible until the upper part of the body has come over the top step. This helps to prevent excessive bending of the user's hip and pelvic area. Once the weight ratio changes, let the foot end come into contact with the stairs. The operator at the head end should keep the pulling strap long and assist by slightly raising the handle as the body moves over the top step. 
When reaching the half landing, it's important to steer a wide course so you don't encounter problems with the central pillar of the staircase. If needed, the straps can be used to position the ski slide pad. The foot end operator controls the speed of descent. Communication is fundamental to ensure the head end operator does not overbalance in an attempt to keep up. Once the user has exited the building and reached a point of safety, the straps can be loosened to ensure the user is comfortable. The ski slide pad can be wiped over using antibacterial wipes. Ensure that it is dried thoroughly before storing back into its case.